How's it going guys? My name is Triple Shot. I'm glad y'all are back to watch the next installment of how to play Halo 5 properly. Uh, if you didn't know, I made a new series on my channel in which you guys ask me questions uh, that you have about the game on uh, how to do things such as, you know, ninjing or uh, like in sort of an uh, infection roots, any anything in the game that you want to see, uh, I will do it. So our question for today comes from PikaSwift31 and it's more of a suggestion. Uh, basically, he wants to see how to get Warzone kill streaks. Now, it's not as hard as you think. It's very simple as long as you follow uh, a couple steps uh, that I always follow. Uh, and so that's exactly what I'm going to do for you today. So we get into it. And if you notice at the beginning of the match, I shot every AI possible. And this is because a general rule of thumb when you're playing Warzone and you're going for high kill streaks is you want uh, your rut points up as fast as possible. And so landing shots, even if you don't kill them, just landing at least one shot on, on an AI will give you points. And so you'll see I shoot so many AI that I'm able to get wreck 3 after we cap the base. Uh, which is also the next step. You want to always capture your armory. Because, it, again, it gives you a lot of points. Always be in, be in the armory when you cap it. Otherwise, you won't get as many points. So I get to wreck 3. And so once this base... Oh, wow, I actually got it before we capture the base. Jeez. Um, so once we capture the base, uh, I'm going to immediately go to the wreck station because... Uh, another, th another thing that you want to do is always watch your rec points. Be on top of your rec points. If you're not, then you're going to be losing uh, time that you can uh, you can use to get kills. Uh, and so if you don't have your weapons with you, then you can't do that uh, as efficient. So uh, I get my BR of choice, which for me, I like the hybrid. Um, I also like the regular BR. And because of this map, I, use, I go with two BRs. I mean, it's all preference. You just, as long as you have a game plan... Uh, then you're fine. So, and what I mean by game plan is know what weapons you're already gonna spawn, uh, spawn in. Even you know, I'm I'm, ta I'm talking like late game. Like you need to know. Okay, I'm gonna get the BR first. I'm gonna get the sniper rifle. Uh, or sorry, I'm gonna get the shotgun. Then I'm gonna get the sniper rifle. Then I'm gonna get the uh, Phaeton Helios, which is what I do in this game. Um, just have a game plan, and uh, so I'll, I'll just pay attention to this to this walkthrough, and this should help you give you an idea of what you should be getting uh, at these ruck levels. Um, so anyway, right now I'm moving into the base, and that was awesome lag. Thank you, Halo. Um, so anyway, basically your general rule of thumb after you capture the armory is you want to be um, sitting back with your teammates, but also pushing up at the same time uh, in, in times that you need to. So for right now, we need to get the garage, because if we don't get the garage, then you're going to have a much harder time getting kill streaks because you're going to be quartered into one base. And uh, generally, that's one corner of the map, uh, especially on this one. Um, so you'll see, if you get roof control, uh, what I've found on this map, if you get roof control, then you will generally get the uh, get the garage because you can is, you can shoot in uh, from the top and you can shoot uh, off the top uh, at their armory, which keeps them back. So that's what I'm going to do here in a in a few seconds. First, I'm clearing it out. Um, and you'll you'll see, I'm choosing my angles very carefully. I always have cover next to me. Um, because again, I'm going for kill streaks. I'm not trying to go guns blazing Rambo over here. Uh, so always sit back. Always, you know, you see those pillars. Those are that's that's cover for me. You know, you always stick next to cover. Always be thinking that. Um, so yeah, as an, an, another <laughs> very important thing, be patient because if you are trying to again go Rambo and just you know be aggressive all the time, it will not work. I promise you, it will not work. Uh, because you will get double teamed or something bad will happen. It always happens. It's just, it, it, it will not work. Just uh, let me tell you that uh, and, and hopefully get it through your head that it's not going to work and just stay back, be patient, um, and fight for the last shot. That's that's an another very important thing is always fight um, for that last shot because if you can land the last shot, I know it sounds like, like a, 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 bad, a bad move and kind of rude, but honestly, it's not. Um, because you're going for kill streaks, everybody's going for kills. Just fight for the last shot, get the last shot, learn how to get the last shot, and you will thrive. I guarantee you that. Um, but anyway, you'll notice that I got a shotgun out of this uh, once I got wreck level four, and that's because uh, as soon as you hit level four, then you get access to, in my opinion, better wrecks that are worth spawning in uh, that can contribute to your kill count. Which, uh, by the way, we're going for the unfrig. All right, that's. If you're not going for the unfrig, then uh, I don't know what you're doing. So, <laughs> go always go for the unfrig. Um, 
So I get the shotgun. You can also grab a railgun. Those are my two favorites. But in this one, I grab a shotgun uh, just because I knew that they were going to be pushing the uh, garage a lot. And so just wanting the shotgun in protects me and protects the garage at the same time. Um, so that's what the good choice there was. Um, so you'll notice that I just recently got rec 5. And so I'm waiting until I have a good, a good chance uh, to go put on that level, uh, level 5 armor ability. And I might have... Hold up. <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, it looks like I already put it on. Okay. Um, I missed that part because my screen lagged. Yeah, so I went and I put on... Uh, what was it? You can put on upgraded thrusters or you can put on the uh, silencing perk. I forgot what it's called. Stealth. Whatever it is. Um, and the reason I go with stealth most of the time is because uh, it, it, it takes you off the radar. I'm sorry. It takes you off the radar. Uh, which is very helpful whenever you're in this situation for instance he has no idea I'm coming up and I'm coming at him full speed um, that would have taken me twice as long to get to him uh, at that point so that stealth to me is better than upgraded thrusters but I do believe upgraded thrusters is, is good in some situations um, in games that you're more uh, generally attacking and being aggressive against you know worse teammates then upgraded thrusters would, pro would probably be the best uh, if you're going for a fast unfrig for me, uh, especially when you're playing against higher skilled uh, skill level players, get the uh, stealth perk, um, which is not hard to unlock. I'm, I believe if you've completed the silver packs, then you can get it uh, fairly easily. So I would get that. It takes you off the radar, and it, you, you become a more defensive player. Um, but you can also, you know, move up in stealth situations and be that uh, offensive player as well. Um, so that's nice. Um, you'll notice again, I got Rex 6 a while back and I spawned in a DMR. This is optional. Um, I really like the Centennial DM, uh, DMR. I don't know what it is about it, but the aim is amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has uh, more bullet magnetism than the other DMRs. And the s they, it has two scopes. It's just like a sniper. It has two scope, scope variants. And even on the second uh, zoomed in one, it's still very accurate. Um, which is unlike the sniper. The sniper's second zoom is very uh, tricky to use, uh, but it can be done. Um, but yeah, so I'm just I'm just getting some more kills with the DMR before I uh, upgrade to my rec level six weapon, uh, which for me is going to be a sniper rifle. Uh, because you know everyone knows I love sniper rifles; they're amazing. Um, so I get the sniper rifle, and now I'm just gonna you know continue what I've been doing. I've been staying back. Uh, I've been choosing my angles wisely. And, uh, you know, you'll notice they keep running up to their armory. They're trying to defend it. So having a sniper is very smart uh, in this situation. Um, another thing that you want to do is always pay attention to the bosses. Uh, because a while, got, uh, or a while back it said that there was a, uh, like an enemy banshee. Uh, like a, a boss banshee. And so I immediately hopped into the garage because I don't want to get killed by that thing. And they will kill you if you're on top of the garage. So it, it's going to happen. Um, so always, uh, always, always, always be checking for the bosses. Because they can sneak up on you so much. Especially on Noctis. If you're on Noctis, that's a very hard map now. They added so many AIs to that map. It's very difficult to use any vehicles or uh, get on frigs that are not uh, on the ground. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, right now you'll see I'm just picking them off. Staying back. And I think right here, uh, yeah, that sniper's there. Okay, so I would challenge him, and I think I could win. But the thing is, I'm, you know, I'm probably on at least a 20 kill streak, and I'm not gonna risk it. Um, and so that's an another very important thing to to keep in mind is risk evaluation. If it's gonna possibly kill you, it will kill you. So don't do it. And you'll see he's still there. So I'm like, nope, not gonna, not gonna challenge it. So uh, I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it smart. Always be thinking risk, risk evaluation um, because I can't tell you how many times I have been like, oh, well, I'm good enough to take this guy. I'm boom, dead instantly. And it's not even from him. It's from, you know, his friend that I don't see. Uh, so you just always play it safe and uh, you will get this the unfrig soon. Uh, you'll see that I just ran out of sniper ammo. Uh, so I ran down and grabbed my DMR, which is basically a sniper rifle. It's, this thing is amazing. Um, and you'll see that I was under pressure here because I didn't see anyone and I saw that the uh, garage had one guy uh, in it and so I immediately spawned in over shields. Um, if you feel pressured at all at any point uh, within your game, spawn in over shields or active camo. 
overshields are probably better uh, because you can go more places and shoot, you know, uh, more openly. Um, but uh, the the camo is also very well, uh, a very well choice. Um, but yeah, so <coughs> I'm gonna be watching my ammo uh, with this DMR because as soon as I'm low, you don't want to be caught in a situation where you have to kill him and you have like no ammo. So always be watching your ammo. Um, it's very very important uh, to getting high kill streaks. And so you'll see I'm still staying back. The moment that we capture the armory, I'm going to try to push forward, or I'm going to evaluate the situation and then move forward. Um, because another thing that you want to do is always watch what they're spawning in, and that could, you know, lay into your weapon plan. Because you, you know, I, I talked about before. I ha you have that in initial weapon plan, uh, but if they all have lasers, don't spawn in a banshee. Or if they're all they're all spawning in plasma 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 okay plasma pistols, uh, don't spawn in a banshee. Um, the other thing is you want to pay attention to what bases they have. You know, if you only have one base, don't be spawning in all these wrecks. Don't waste them. It's not worth it. <coughs> um, right now, I believe I'm waiting for wreck level 8 uh, because I want a Phaeton Helios. And so, again, I mean, they're pushing the garage so much that I don't have a reason to really move forward. Uh, I do now that they, that we capture the armory, uh, but I'm still, I'm still going to lay back and just in case some of those stragglers think that they can get past me. Uh, like this guy trying to get past me. Which I don't know why I couldn't kill this guy, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, just re repeat the, this, the these weren't steps, you know. Always repeat like what you're doing. Always be checking your ammo. <coughs> um, and you know, I don't think I mentioned it before, but you want to stick next to your teammates uh, because they can always save you. That's like more cover. That's <laughs> it's. it's if you want to move up in the open, make sure you have a teammate with you because if they can take damage and you don't, that's perfect. That's what you want if you're going for the unfrig, um, to be honest. So you see I almost have rec level 8, so I'm going to go back. I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, I'm still going to be looking for uh, kills that I can pick off real quick. <coughs> um, and let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to go get it. Um, I noticed that there's a boss uh, over there, but I th it's not anything too major. So I'm just going to quickly grab the Phaeton Helios and I'm just going to get out of there instantly. Um, because I don't think it can really do any damage to me. And you'll notice that they just captured the West Armory. So I'm going to go over there. And this was the first time for me using a Phaeton Helios. So I had to go back here and figure out the controls. I couldn't figure out how to go down. And this was very stressful. Um, so yeah, just ignore this part. Um... Anyway, so I finally get it. I'm like, yes, all right. And I've seen gameplay of this thing, and I know it's a beast. So I'm going to be uh, going off with it here soon. So um, later on in the gameplay, you'll realize that I I can't boost. You know, the 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 on Helios has a teleportation boost sort of deal, uh, and I could not I couldn't boost. It wouldn't work. So. Uh, I have to actually end up ditching this thing, which is very hard to do and sad, but I was going for the unfrig. So, yeah, that's that's more important than a fade on Helios. Um, anyway, uh, see, so yeah, I'm just, I'm staying back. I'm waiting for us to get this base, and once we do, I'm going imme to immediately move up to uh, their ar their base, because I want to pick off kills as fast as possible. Um, so right here... Uh, I noticed that there was some fire coming from over here, so I went over and checked it out. There was a guy, um, and then there's that guy. <laughs> this legend. Um, yeah, he doesn't last very long. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. <coughs> um, so at this point, we finally ca we're about to capture that base, and then uh, they captured the East Armory, and so I'm just staying back again. Uh, this Banshee, not even a chance. Phaeton Helos is amazing, guys. I do recommend you use this if you want an unfrig. Um, and this guy, I don't know what this guy is doing. Like, why are you... And then that's the thing. Like, he wasn't next to any cover. So, don't spray at something like a Phaeton Helios when you're out in the middle of the open. I mean, that's just not going to work. <laughs> Think about it. How are you going to live? You're not. <laughs> so, uh, don't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to move up here. We're taking the East Armory. And then I see the laser. And so, uh, like I said again, you need to be watching what wrecks they have. And a good way to do this is, one, you know, look around. Because if you see a laser in the sky, and you know there's a laser. Uh, or you could be watching the kill feed. 
uh, because if you see, you know, three of your teammates get blasted down by a rocket launcher, then you know they have a rocket launcher. Um, and you also know that three of your teammates are down, so you might want to, you know, move back a little bit. Um, you'll see here, I'm just kind of waiting it out because if you be that guy that sees the laser, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll just go take it out, you know. It's not going to work, <laughs> so wait it out a, a, for a few seconds, and then you'll see this Banshee goes. I'm like, okay, he can, he got this. <laughs> <coughs> and so you'll see, I'm, I'm waiting for him to die, but he actually doesn't. And then you, you notice right there in the kill, the kill feed, he gets a kill. So I'm assuming that that was the Spartan laser, so now I'm moving up. And it was a good decision because I get a ton of kills here. I pick him up very, very easily. Um, and I don't know what happened to the Banshee. He's gone. <laughs> and I think he, actually, I think he got killed by Rocket Launcher. I don't know. Um, you'll see I'm on the Inconceivable, so I need five more kills. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, this is going to be easy. Then they bring out the plasma pistol, and I can't kill him because I'm too far away, and my boost is not is now not working. And right this whole time I'm trying to hit my boost and it's not working, and that's not good because they have a plasma pistol, and if you don't have a boost, you're going to get hit every time. That was an extremely lucky rocket launcher dodge. Um, yeah, so he's being very persistent. So I noticed they had the rocket launcher, they had the plasma pistol, and I'm I see them on my radar. There's a red dot. I'm getting out of there uh, because I'm too close to this unfreak to risk it. Um, so I'm going to spawn on a sniper rifle instantly and finish up this, uh, this unfrig. <coughs> Just kidding. Not instantly. They're coming in. They're on my radar and they're coming in. So I'm going to hold off. That was lucky too. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, once this guy goes down, I'm going to go grab my sniper rifle, uh, because I'm very scared right now. I don't want to lose the unfrig. They have my phaeton. It's even worse. <laughs> it's such a bad situation. Uh, I'm right next to a Warhog that's on fire, even better. Um, so I'm, I'm evaluating, evaluating the situation. I'm making sure that no one comes in on me spawning in the sniper rifle, because that's the worst. You're spawning in a wreck, and then you just get, you know, slayed from from behind. It's it's terrible. Um, but anyway, I'll very quickly jump up here and uh, finish up this on Frig uh, with the best headshot. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so I hope y'all did enjoy, uh, and I hope y'all did learn something. Basically, just stay back, watch your wrecks, and play it safe. Um, and I, I, you will get the unfrig, or you should uh, be able to. It, it takes a few, a few tries. I don't get unfrigs when I log on. I'm not. I, I don't play. You know, uh, very often, and so for me unfrigs are pretty rare. Um, and this is just an inside tip. Uh, you know, I'm not bashing Australians, but if you play during Australian hours. You will get higher kill streaks, and I'm, it's just I'm giving this to you as a fact. I'm not judging Australian gamers, but generally, if I I, I live in America, if I stay up till one or two and play at th at that time, it is so much easier to get kill streaks. I mean, it's insanely easier. Um, so that's just that's an inside tip. If you really want to get those kill streaks, then I you can practice by staying up and playing. Um, but yeah, it is possible on American servers, but it is actually, uh, or it is definitely a, a higher uh, level and less percentage of kill streaks. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy. Remember, if you want your question answered, just leave it down below and I will get to it. Uh, and hopefully y'all did learn something today and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.